everybody, it's Cindy, and today I'm going to do a quick video showing you how to use a plain laminator, some foil, and some uh, cardstock that you print a quick design on to create a look that you get very similar to the mink applicator that is popular right now, either by Anna Griffin or Heidi Swap. So I'm going to go ahead and get started. First thing we're going to do is design a file. You can also go in and print a free printable um, project life card or other card. I've done invitations this way and thank you cards already. This one's really simple. I'm going to insert a picture that I already had chosen. Maybe I am. There we go. Go to my desktop. I already had this heart ready to go. I'm going to resize that down quite a bit. because I'm going to, going to make a Project Life style card. So I'm going to also insert a shape. This is how simple this is and how quick it is to go ahead and print uh, your own design without a problem. So I'm going to draw a text box. Oops, nope, I'm going to insert a shape, sorry. Okay, so I'm just going to draw a box. I'm going to go ahead over here and resize it to 3.75 by 5.75 because I want it just a little bit smaller than the actual card size that I want. Okay, and then I'm going to uh, take out the fill on it because I want the heart to show and I want the outline to have a little bit more weight. And I also want the outline to be black because the, uh, the more you um, change things to black, which is what I'm also going to do the heart, the better it's going to print on the laser printer. Okay, so get this so I can move it over. And then maybe a little bigger. That's pretty good. Doesn't have to be perfect. And then I'm going to go in, I'm going to insert a text box. I'm going to draw my own text box right in the middle of this. And it's going to say 2015. So I'm going to use this for my project life. Put it in the middle. Align it in the center. I choose a fun font here. Let's see what looks good. Let's go up from there. And I'm just going to make this big. And I'm going to go into my. Where? Select all of my words. And I'm going to change that to white because I don't want that to print. And then on the outline again, I don't want an outline on that. So there's a really simple card, it takes three or four minutes to create, and then we'll be on to the next step. Okay, so now I need to go ahead and print this file, and I put some Nina, 100 pound, 110 pound, something like that, white cardstock, I think it's Classic Crest, which is a really good sturdy cardstock that I'm going to use for my project life. It's a nice, heavy, crisp white. I'm going to go ahead and print this on my laser printer. Keep in mind it does have to be a laser printer. You cannot use an inkjet. So if it says laser, that's fine. If it says laser jet, uh, which is HP's uh, brand name for laser printer, uh, it will work perfectly. So I'm just going to go file and I'm going to print. And that's my HP Laser Jet Professional 1102W, which is the wireless um, version of the 1102. And what you need to know about this printer is it's really super inexpensive. I think it was $80-ish. I think I paid $82 with change because I get free shipping through Amazon. So um, really inexpensive when you figure the cost of the Mink machine by itself with no printer is about $150-ish depending on when you get it. And when if you find it on sale, this is a really inexpensive way to do the same basic thing. I'm sure there are a lot of bells and whistles on the mink machine that you're not going to get with this particular process that I'm doing, but sometimes you don't need bells and whistles. Okay, 
So I'm going to go ahead and print this. I'm just going to print one copy. It's going to print this exactly, and it's going to print it with toner. And that's the important thing about the, the printing on this. You have to have that toner because that's what reacts with the heat to adhere the foil. Okay, so that's it. I'm going to go get it, and I will be right back. Okay, I'm back, and now I am going to trim this down to a 4x6 card with my trimmer. But first, I am going to turn on, sorry for the noise here, turn on my Scotch Laminator. Um, pretty simply, you push the power button. You have two settings here, and let's see if I can zoom in on that for you. Two settings here, one says eh, 3 mil and one says 5 mil. I do it on the thicker setting, so I'm going to do the 3 millimeter, mil, yeah, 3 millimeter, and let that heat up while I trim my paper down. Get that cord out of the way. Okay, let's just get that out of the way. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm left-handed, so I use this upside down. Don't make fun of me for it, please. Okay, so I am going to trim this down to approximately four by six. Okay. Um, let's see. I'm going to trim this side down a little bit so it's pretty much even. I want it to be pretty close to 4x6 so I'm not wasting a whole lot of the foil. Okay. Let's see. One more down off of this side. I'm going to have a pretty cute little 4x6 card that I can add to my pocket page scrapbooking. Project Life, Photo Freedom, whatever it is you do. Maybe a little bit more off of this side, just a tiny little bit. That's a sliver. Maybe even a bigger sliver. That wasn't a very good sliver. There we go. Okay, so now I have just a plain card ready to go. Okay, and get my scraps out of the way. Okay, that's still not heated up. So while I'm waiting, I'm going to get my foil ready. Where did I put my foil? There it is. Apologize for the noise again. Okay, so this is the foil I'm going to use. This is just Mink brand foil. You can also use Deco foil, which comes in an absolute ton of colors. I think this is like gold and there's a bronze or a rose gold. Um, there's a rainbow one that I used for part of my daughter's graduation invitations. Silver, this is rose gold and this is regular gold comes in a lot of colors. It comes in bigger rolls than the deco foil. Weird that Hobby Lobby was just out of them. But this is probably the best value that I've found so far. It is 12.25 uh, inches by 120 inches, which is 10 feet. So there's a ton of, of pink foil here. I don't know that I'll ever use that much pink, but you know, we'll go with it for today. It's called Hot Pink Reactive Foil. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead. I've already got this open. I've already used it once. And I think I have a little scrap on the inside that I can use. There we go. Okay. Put this out of the way. Okay. So here's my piece of foil, which should be pretty close to 4 by 6 Okay. Just plain foil. And then this, you're just going to put on your design. Make sure it covers all the parts that you want that you have something printed. So I have this border, I want that to be pink, I have the heart, and then this will be not pink, it won't react to the white, because it doesn't print in white. Okay, and my scotch machine still isn't quite warmed up yet, it usually takes about five minutes, so I'm going to pause, and we'll be back as soon as it's ready to go. Okay, 
So now my laminator is all heated up. You can see the little blue light right there that shows it's ready to go. And I have my design and my foil. And I also have this. So I know the Mink Machines comes with carrier envelopes and when you buy a laminator it comes with pouches. You don't use those. You don't have to use those. There's no need for it. This is just a plain sheet of copy paper. If I was doing a bigger sheet I would use two of these and just lay them back to back. But since I'm using a small design I'm going to go ahead and fold that in half. And all this does is acts as the carrier envelope or the carrier folder, however you want to say it, to hold the whole thing in place when it goes through. So that's all I did. I just put my design down, foil over it, shiny side up, just like that. Okay, and then folded it shut. There you go. Just plain paper that I put in my printer. Just copy paper. Okay, pull this forward a little bit so you can see it better. Okay, on this one, some of them you put in the front right here. This one, you load it through the back. So I'm going to put it in the middle and w once the rollers pick it up, you don't have to do anything else. It's just going to roll right through and it'll take a few seconds to come all the way through. You'll see it coming down through here at the bottom and then because I want to make sure I get that really great impression and you know I don't necessarily know how well this foil, this particular foil is going to react to the heat. Um, I'm going to go ahead and run it through again a little bit further over just so I get it all the way even and let it run through one more time and then just for kicks I'm going to run it through one more time seems like a lot but I want to make sure I get that really great impression on my design maybe impression is the wrong word because it's not actually an impression it is impression is what you get when you use a die cut. It's not impression. It's I want to make sure that the heat reacts evenly with the toner across the whole design. Okay, so this is my third time through. I probably could have done just two and been just fine, but I don't want to take any chances of it not getting reacted really well with the foil. Okay, it's almost out. And now this is the absolute hardest part for me. You want to wait a few seconds for it to cool down. Well, I didn't want to wait a few seconds. You want to wait a few seconds for it to cool down. I did learn that. It, you get a better result if you wait a few seconds before you um, peel it off. And unfortunately, the machine or the paper kind of yanked onto it. So. Okay, so it's pretty much cooled off. You can see there, that's just the outside of the foil. You can actually see the design already showing through and the border that I put on. Kind of the impression of it. It's not an impression, it's where it's attached, but it looks like, it almost looks like embossing right there, which is kind of cool actually. Okay, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to peel it back. Yeah. And there you go. I don't know what happened here, there must have been a flaw in the foil. But it's still cute. I am perfectly happy with it. Even with that little hiccup there. Makes it look kind of distressed. I'm kind of a glass half full person. It's not a flaw. It's a happy accident. Okay. And that's it. That's all you do. So I did that one. Here's the, the negative of that that you can see. And here's another one that I did yesterday. There's a negative. I'm definitely going to use this for something. And 
there we go. So you get two of them. Um, I'm going to use this for uh, my granddaughter's page in one of my Project Life albums, her pocket page scrapbooking albums. Yeah, they're really cute. And you get that really great foiled result, especially if you have patience and don't rip it off right away. I don't know what happened there. It kind of bothers me. But I'm going to put a really great design element on my pocket page scrapbooking layouts. If you find this video helpful, please give me a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more videos. Thanks. Have a good day.